Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Well, let's have a look at the uh, solid start of mid-class CD performance. So we've got the, the obvious choice, which is, of course, Macintosh. Everybody loves Macintosh, almost everybody. Um, and they're really popular, uh, I would say, especially with their, with their CD players. Um, a lot of uh, people that don't have Macintosh uh, somehow also have a, a Macintosh CD player. It could be uh, the old, uh, what, what is it called, uh, 201, 301, whatever they're called models, um, which were pretty good. Uh, and of course, as soon as they started making the MCD 500 model, that's like, I would say that that's like the CD player that cemented Macintosh into the, the CD market, where a lot of people that, that couldn't afford a proper CD player wanted this type of sound. And I, and I fully understand it. It costs a lot of money. Uh, it's still, you know, some, some years old now, but still to this day, it, it's, it's a pretty good and, and, and decent sound. And it has a good um, headphone jack. Um, Everything's just kind of um, pretty neat with with this player. Very good, solid, mid-performance uh, player. And I personally feel that if you have a CD player like this, you deserve to have a Macintosh amplifier together with that. Maybe an integrated tran transistor uh, amplifier for Macintosh. That, that would be cool. Um, I felt that when I had my Macintosh MA6900 uh, amplifier that it was kind of a bit behind because I didn't have the CD player to, to go with it. So I would have liked to have had that opportunity. I heard it at a lot of friends' places. This was like the most popular CD player amongst, uh, you know, people in, in, in the mid-class, I would say. So... Yeah, the, you, you can't mention CD players without mentioning this. This is like the most famous, popular CD player of them all, I would say. Uh, I could be wrong. If you think that I'm wrong, just tell me what, what you probably think is, is more popular. Uh, of course, there's a lot of cheap net um, CD players that, that probably give you a lot more value on the used market that cost only like a, a 30th of this price. But... Um, I feel that you should definitely try Macintosh CD players because they do something really, very, very, very special with their sound, um, especially if you if you're like wanting to start in the mid class area. So yeah, let let's go on to something. Here we have another picture of of the Macintosh and just a really nice, sweet presentation. Nice looks, pretty heavy. Um, looks really cool. Um, and just, yeah, again, Macintosh works really well with uh, Yamaha gear and actually quite a bit of, 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 of other gear when we're talking specifically about their, their CD players. Um, but, you know, you never really want to go with a Macintosh CD player and then put it on something really uh, analytical and um, cheap or analytical and, and, and super expensive. Uh, I've heard it many times go wrong. Uh, so I, I would say typically you would put it on a slightly warmer system, but you you know what to do. Um, and yeah, we should also not forget uh, Yamaha. As soon as you get into the the two thousand models from around, I think it's two thousand and six, and then to the present time that we're in with the two thousand, two thousand one hundred, two thousand two hundred, or whatever they're called. They're just very good, solid CD players playing a good all-round sound. It's not um, quite as appealing and sexy as the Macintosh sound. It's not quite that, that linear and, and, and freshness to it um, and, and style. But I would say that you're getting more value for, for these CD players compared to the Macintosh because the Macintosh just keep their prices ridiculously. Um, so I personally feel that that all the used Macintosh gear is just very, very expensive, a lot more expensive than it should be. 
Uh, but that that's just the agreement of, of the market, how people see them. Um, they keep the prices very, very, very good, Macintosh. So that's probably also like a good reason for getting Macintosh if you ever want to get a lot of money back for it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know why, but there doesn't seem to be a headphone jack in this CD player. I remember there being one in one of the previous versions, and um, they had some pretty good headphone uh, function. So I would say that Yamaha starts being good with their amplifiers and CD players around the uh, the 1000 models from around 2006 and then onwards. So 1100, uh, no, 1000, 1100, 200, all those models, there it starts cementing the, the Yamaha sound. That is actually good. I still find it a tiny bit boring, a tiny bit loose, just not quite there for me. I think for a lot of people starting in, 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 in the mid class, that they, they'll go like, yeah, two thumbs up. And great, if, if they like that, just just great. I think that J Yamaha just gives pretty very, uh, pretty good value from, from their 1000 models and then upwards, uh, especially 1000 and 2000 models. So it's just, it's nice to touch, it's nice to feel. It has like a, like, like a sweet, natural type of, of sound. And actually works very good with Yamaha uh, and and Macintosh gear and 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 quite a bit of, of other gear. So look for that. That that that's very um, that's very interesting gear that really set like uh, the standard for me back in the uh, in the in the old days. Now something more special. I think the Ear Acute CD player, I'm talking about the original one from around 2006. They've got some newer versions, I haven't heard them. I'm guessing that they're better, but I haven't heard them. This was really heavy. Um, this, this, this was really heavy, and you can't really see it on the pictures. They aren't really that good, these pictures, but they're just so pretty, they're, they're so shiny. And you can change the tubes uh, inside, and it's just this is like the CD sound um, where I think that it gets significantly better than than uh, the one thousand models from from Yamaha, even the the two thousand models that are pretty darn good. Uh, I feel that this just has more taste, more personality, it has that diva like nightclub quality to it just listen to katie malua and diana crawl and a lot of blues and jazz and stuff like that it just really captures that personality so but yeah i mean if you want to listen to rock metal and and stuff like that uh, not really quite there with, with this type of gear but just try and listen to that with within um uh, ear coot cd player on an ear amplifier like in uh, 8l6 just Wah, wah. really really nice sound um so, that, so that's for people who like like the stylish part the, the human qualities part yeah it, it's lacking a bit on, on on the structural part um so do a lot of these mid-class players that they, they, they're, they're not like they don't have the best best structure and 3d and layering they're all still CD players that are all still a tiny bit flat in sound, but you know we're, we're dealing with mid-class equipment, so that that's how the game works. Um, this is a special CD player, Passion 100, 200, and 300 models. I can't remember how many models they made, but this is like the old models. I think they made back around the 90s. These are really good. They have a lot of potential. They have like a, they have this fun almost colorful and exciting type of CD sound that you almost never hear. Uh, so much potential sounds really good with uh, especially the old uh, Passion amplifiers, which also are very rare. So if you see either of those, get them. Uh, they have a lot of potential for tweaking. Uh, just don't go too nuts on that. I did that with mine and it went from a really good standard player that easily beat Macintosh to um, 
being very much better when it was upgraded. But then I took the upgrade too far. I started putting cheap silver cables in it, silver plugs. It ruined the sound. But it still sounded somehow really amazing. Um, but it, 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 I took it too far with that upgrade. But just just really nice. And, and these, uh, these switch thingies... Uh, also really fun <laughs> to touch and and you can't see it on the picture but the whole metal cut uh, of the chassis is really nice to to touch and and actually very pretty when when you have it in a, in a proper picture so yeah you can see it a bit more here on the newer ones the newer ones are better without a doubt the newer ones are better and also have some really good hidden tweaking uh, possibilities if you ever want to change the uh, the RCA plugs and inlet plugs and stuff like that. Just really good. And just like the name says, passion. It's about passion. It's about fun. It's about excitement. It's a tiny bit more three-dimensional and, and layered, multi-layered, than a lot of these other CD players. But I would still say it's far from the very best CD players on, on the market. Just a really good, solid, mid-class uh, sound and a lot of people have never heard these CD players these are like some of the the, the hidden gems on on the CD market so yeah this is usually not a brand that I would recommend but I once borrowed it from a friend who was uh, willing to to sell it to me I ended up not buying it, um, mainly because I, I couldn't use the XLR function, which made it, um, it made it just like almost two times better, the sound. So just know that these CD players here sound interesting and, and kind of okay on RCA cables, but some of these models that come with XLR, they have like an extra re-enabled tube function that improves the sound. So that when you're using XLR cables, it just like it's one and a half, two times better. So that's one of the reasons why I was seriously considering this CD player. Somehow I just didn't end up getting it. It was though really um, interesting. It's 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 like where you feel like okay now you've gotten into like the start of the mid class type of sound. So I definitely felt that with all the normal. CD players that I had previously, the cheap uh, Denon Yamaha, uh, Pioneer Nate, all of these cheap ones that I got off the used market, they just couldn't get anywhere near this this performance. So this is like the like the start of the mid class performance. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Got my attention. I liked it especially a lot listening to you know smooth mu music like Katie Malua and and Tony Braxton. It was like an obvious choice for that. But you know more sophisticated, more demanding music, like really technically uh, insanely uh, good uh, music didn't quite do it for me, even though I felt that it was still quite quite interesting. So yeah, something to, to try and, and, and see. And this is like an, an, an obvious good value, natural down to earth type of sound. This is the, um, the audio note CD2 sound. And I would say that this is one of the best value CD sounds um, I've ever heard, and it, and with with audio note CD players, it's all about less is more. It's all about uh, human qualities, down to earth richness, and people that just don't want this normal flat, bright mechanical type of sound, but want a more of a, I would say a sound that that's closer to vinyl. Um, so it can be done. Uh, I, I would say that Audino makes the best CD players in the world of all the manufacturers I've heard, but they also make pretty much the most expensive ones. So that also has to be taken into consideration. So it's just, you know, short circuit, good quality components. It has style. It's very much like the, the Ear Acoud CD player. I, I just think that it's, um, I think it's significantly cheaper. I'm not really sure of that. But it's like it's like in the class with the ear acoud CD players, you know, it it's that type of thing where it's just about class, style, personality, you know, and yeah, and then going from that over to um, M Labs, 
I'm generally not a fan of, of M-Labs, but I feel that still they have a lot of CD players that are still very expensive, so usually I can't recommend them, but I just feel that they're very they're very earthy, um, pretty natural, and just work a lot, work great with, with a lot of different gear. It's just, you know, the only reason why I don't recommend them are just price-wise. I mean, this CD player here, or these types of CD players, I'm guessing it's like twice the price of, of some of these other uh, CD players. And, and I think a, a lot of these other CD players, especially this one, just has more style, has more class, and gives a lot more value. And, you know, those are like my, my considerations for, for the mid-class. And it, it, you guys should just try and carry this in. It's pretty heavy. And then to touch the knobs and, and the buttons and, and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's just really sweet. I, re I really, I really enjoyed um, borrowing this, uh, this CD player. I think I had it for like a couple of weeks and uh, yeah, it, it was not fun uh, <laughs> um, uh, taking it back. And you know, wanna hear a funny story? I, uh, after I borrowed it from the store, I took it over to a friend's place and he was like, whoa, this is really good. And then we, uh, oh no, then we had to take the the CD player uh, down back to my car so I could drive it back to the dealership. And you know, the idiot, um, he just, he, he just, he carried it really high. And then we went outside of his apartment uh, and then, you know, there, there were these steps here, uh, slippery steps because there was ice all over the place. And, uh, oh my God, um, <laughs> he, he dropped the CD player and it, and, it, and I think, I think it went like a meter up in the air. And, uh, I think this here, it just hit it at the most awkward angle. Uh, I think around here on the ground, on, on the, um, on, on the slab of stones that was there. And, um, I, th I thought he was, you know, gonna pass out or broken his neck or something like that. But somehow he, he was okay. And and you know what? Somehow the CD player was still um, okay. I, I don't get how that's possible. Uh, dropping this for from like uh, a meter's height on uh, stone. Um, I, I don't get it, but... Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell the um, uh, the store about it, and um, no problems. It it just worked, and and I checked with the guy um, who was in the store because because uh, he then had it on on demo in his store, and it just kept on working for several years. Uh, and it's like, oh god, you know that, that was just awkward and weird, uh, and I really wanted that CD player. It's just, oh man, it's just. That was just uh, that was just awkward and weird. Also, having to deal with your friend who dropped it, uh, I was like trying to be really nice, but I was like really pissed at him. Just just going, how could you do this? You know, I, I'm I'm the one borrowing this equipment. If it's if it's broken, I have to pay for it. But uh, yeah, just one of those weird um, one of those weird things that happens. And when you borrow, uh, you know, thousands. I wouldn't say thousands, but I, I borrowed quite a bit of, of, of gear from stores and I was really close to buying a, a lot of it but I just couldn't really um, afford this and I knew that I had to buy this together with the amplifier for it to really shine so I was like Argh. I wasn't really making a, a lot of money uh, back then I was only really you know really getting started um making some okay money so it was just uh that was painful painful uh to deal with that and, and take it back but yeah you know it worked then <laughs> and you couldn't even see it on, on the on the cd player that that um that we had dropped it so oh uh, yeah that's just that was just awkward but um yeah let me try and make more of these videos for you guys so you can get a, a, a proper start to the uh, 
the low, mid and, and high class of CD performance. So yeah, that's me logging out and remember to like and subscribe. Bye.